Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Penner bringing you all the latest in the sporting world today. Florida Gator football team outside of the top 25 for the first time this season, looking to stop the bleeding this weekend at Auburn. Defensive lineman Omar Hunter says it's just another day in the SEC. You know, our blue tree every game is the same. This is just as big as it was last week and the week before. You know, Auburn's a great team. You know, we're looking forward to going playing them at their stadium. It's a wild stadium. And once again, the quarterback situation remains a hot topic heading into the weekend. The coaches have not yet said whether Jacoby Brissett will start again or if it will be Jeff Driscoll. Head coach Will Muschamp says whoever ends up getting the snaps needs his teammates to step up. Again, I've said this before, you get tired of We need to play well around the quarterback position. So much falls on the quarterback. We've got to play well in front, we got to play well wide out, well running back. Those are things we've got to continue to do. One guy the Gators could use at quarterback that's out of eligibility is Tim Tebow. The former Gator replaced Kyle Orton Sunday in the Broncos loss to the Chargers, and he played pretty well, threw for a touchdown, ran for a touchdown, and today the Broncos named him the starting quarterback for their next game at Miami. Broncos are on their bye this week, then Tebow will take over against the Dolphins. He started the final three games for Denver last season, leading the Broncos to a 1-2 and two record. And the NBA officially canceled the first two weeks of the regular season because of an ongoing lockout. NBA players and owners unable to come to an agreement late last night on a labor deal. Commissioner David Stern then announced the cancellation of the season's first two weeks. Heart of the issue remains the division of basketball-related income. In the previous deal, players got 57% of that number. Owners want a 50-50 split, but players aren't budging from taking less than 53%. The last NBA lockout in 1998 lasted 208 days and reduced the regular season to 50 games. And one last note, guys, uh, Steven Garcia done at South Carolina, old ball coach, kicking him off the team. Wow, interesting development. Thanks so much, Brian. We'll, we'll be back with more news in just 90 seconds. Stay with us.